Howdy ho everyone! My name is Diana Anderson and this is Chalk with Diana. If you've been watching for a while, you know that it's not unusual for me to run away to my bedroom to do chalking projects sometimes, especially when some of my kids are still awake and I just need the quiet and I don't want to go in my usual craft space and stuff. So um, that's why I'm in my bedroom. But this is a great representation of how you can chalk anywhere. Right, chalk anywhere. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. That means that any of the products that you see here, you can choose to purchase for yourself. However, the design that we're doing today is called I Love You, A Bushel and a Peck. It is a retired design, which means you can no longer buy the transfer, AKA the stencil, but you can order a custom design um, just like you're gonna see here, I'm using a 12 by 18 board, 12 and a half by 18 and a half inches. And there we go, got that into the VIP group. Um, and so I will make it for you. You get to choose your own colors. Uh, the board comes with brackets for hanging, so it's really uh, convenient, just ready to go. Let's check this out, make sure it's in good condition. I work with other surfaces as well. Like we have a chalkboard that's uh, this size, but it's white chalkboard with a black frame. So, you know, a couple different options. You just want to make sure we're getting the correct size and then I'll just bill you appropriately. We got some people on already. Hi, Lauren. How are you doing? Amanda, hello. Darcy, hey, hey. Thanks for saying hi, ladies. Okay, here it is. This is a very well used transfer. Transfers are reusable, reusable. They are not stencils, they have a silk screen lining in them and that helps regulate the amount of paste that goes through. We're using something that's similar to a chalk paint but it's thicker so we call it chalk paste and it is a water soluble paste. However, it is semi-permanent when put onto the surface. So once it's put on, it's not gonna rub around like regular chalkboard does. Where like if you touch a chalkboard, it would smudge, right? This chalk paste is going to stay and be secure and not um, smudge. And then the best part is, at least in my opinion, the best part is it's washable. So if you decide that you don't want your chalkboard design to be uh, the way it is anymore, you're like, I don't love you a bushel and a peck anymore. Guess what? You can just wash off the design and now you have a fresh chalkboard to write whatever message you want on your chalkboard. So good. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adjusting the position of the transfer because I'm kind of eyeballing it. And I want to make sure it's as straight as can be. And then we got a really interesting color palette. Super different than what I would default to. However, this customer said, hey, this is my rug. And she showed me her living room rug and it was a very vibrant, colorful rug. So she's like, I want you to pick colors that match the, the rug. So I was like, all right then. So I shot her a picture of some colors and she was like, that's perfect. So I'll show you what those are. Hi, JD. Oh yes, JD. I know it's your favorite. You were lucky you got to do one or two. I don't remember how many of these designs you did. So I live in the Issaquah, Washington area. Um, however, this board is available to be purchased by anyone in the US and I will provide shipping to you. Any of the transfers and paste can be purchased by people in USA and Canada. And if you're in the Washington area or you have friends in the Seattle, Washington area, tag them in this post so they can know to do some chalk workshops with me when I get back to doing them again. Okay, that'll be fun. I just haven't gotten my act together. We have a virtual workshop coming up with someone privately, but I haven't. I was gonna do one with the VIP group members who wanted to participate, but I didn't even get that set up. So we'll have to maybe try that for August. These are the colors that we're gonna use for the board. We're using Fawn, which is like a cream color. We're gonna use the rest of this blue. Oh, this blue is almost out. Let's see what we got. This is forget me not blue. This 
So that'll be kind of just an embellishment color. What I'm doing here is just scraping at the bottom, making sure that water, this is distilled water that I just squirted in here, and I'm just making sure that all of that paste is good and spreadable, scraping some of that dried paste off the side of the jar. This paste is almost gone, but there's still so much use in it. A little bit of paste goes a long way. So I really have a hard time throwing away a jar of paste unless I know for sure, know for sure that I'm done with it. Okay, this one's wild berry. It's kind of a, uh, a pinkish current color. Current jam, that's what I was going with. Current jam is one of our colors, but what is that color? Like a mahogany. Yes, you and Jen did do this one. Those were the good old days, but now those two places where I used to host workshops are closed. It's so sad. So many businesses have had to close their doors. Where am I gonna do chalk workshops now? Ooh, I got a lot of dried paste on the side of this. I should do this later. Um, this is marigold. So this is our color combination. I'm actually gonna reference a previous design because I like the way that I laid out the colors. All right, should we get started? Oh, we did get started, but I'll show you how this is done. And ask me your questions. Let's do a Q and A. Ask me any questions that you want around designership, around my personal life. I don't care. Let's chat. All right, we're gonna do kind of the same color combo. So we're gonna do white is or blue. And then love is this color. Purple is the fawn. And gray is that. Okay, so I'm using a different combo, color combo, but I'm using the same pattern that I've done in a previous design. So let's make this similar. I'm gonna do what is called the paste and peel method. So I'm gonna work from top to bottom, peeling the transfer back along the way, just to make sure that I am not letting the paste dry on the board, or on the uh, screen, rather. I don't want it to dry on the transfer screen, I want it to dry on the board beneath it. So I'm gonna scrape the paste on the blue spread it nice and thin get that extra paste back into the jar and then we're doing love with this beautiful oh this is raspberry sorbet i thought this was our wild berry color they're very similar raspberry sorbet the number one purchase color of 2019 fun fact any mystery boxes coming up darcy asked Great question. Yes, I do plan on doing mystery boxes in August with our new transfer. So it'll be a um, all new stuff in the mystery boxes in August. You have to be in the VIP group if you want to have in on that though. VIP, type in VIP. It's not for designers. It's only for customers. So if you are a designer, please do not request into my group. That is not allowed. Customers only. Okay, but yeah, that'll be fun. It'll be uh, mystery boxes with new transfers, new goodies, and new accessories too. Just kind of a mod podge of stuff that's new because we've got a lot of new stuff. We just had our new product release and so a lot of things, some of the, not a lot of things, but some of the really, really hot things are already sold out and so they're pending to restock end of July. So that's probably when I'll set that up so I can get anything I want to purchase and what I do is I just purchase a whole variety of stuff and then um, the mystery boxes will just be one set price and then you guys get that amount of goodies in your boxes as well as some additional chances at fun prizes so I'm gonna turn this on really quick Middle is off. 
I'm gonna just let that sit for a second. I'm gonna put this comment in here. Melissa asked, what brand of paste am I using? And it is Chalk Couture. So I just put on the link in the comments and pinned that up. That is where you can get the paste for yourself. Please go through the link. Make sure that's dry before I lay back down the transfer and um, it doesn't have to be sealed back on but I definitely want to seal around the heart and the letter A as I have not done those yet so paste and peel just take it section at a time so we need fawn color and then yellow So what I'm doing is applying the paste colors on that I want in kind of a globby fashion. I'm not um, spreading it yet. Because once you spread that paste and you get that excess off, then that paste is, I mean, it's already going to start to dry, but it's definitely going to start to dry once you take off that excess. And when you're in a really hot apartment like I am today, you want to work quickly so that paste doesn't dry on the transfer screen. Some people don't mind it drying on the transfer screen because then when you peel it back, it has a more authentic chalky look or AKA a vintage look. I prefer more of a screen printed look. I like it to be as solid as possible. So that's my suggestion. You can never have enough squeegees, y'all. Always snag a squeegee every time you go shopping. Just treat yourself. It's so nice when you're working with multiple colors to not have to wash off your squeegee in between. Hey Phyllis, welcome on. You're welcome, Melissa, thanks for asking. All right, let's peel back this part. Oh, missed a small segment, segment of my heart, so go back over that little corner. Nice, looks good. What do you guys think of this color combo? I need blue fawn pink dots blue fawn pink dots seal that back up oh I love this transfer so much I think I've only ever thrown away two transfers that's how good the value is I've had plenty of people tell me that they have bought you know craft stores have caught on to this they're like oh here's this trendy new product Chalk Couture was the first company to launch this brand or this brand and the product it's category created product and so we've had a really awesome success in reaching people because they this is new however when people buy from the store they don't have any instructions so they're like what are we doing with this and also the quality is so you guys just don't go buy from the stores where you're only paying like two dollars for a little silk screen because they do not care about you they don't care about giving you tutorial videos Anyway, I've just gotten feedback. Um, I think I did the wrong colors. I want blue. Oh, well, we'll do blue for this one. I'll do blue for the dots. Um, sorry, I've gotten feedback from some customers who have said like, oh, I went and bought some of these from the craft store and these just do not compare to Chalk Couture. The um, value, the stickiness, the adhesive, the long lastingness that you're going to get out of these. She said, I got two uses out of the other one and then I had to toss it. Such a bummer. And plus you get awesome customer service with our company. So you have any problems? Hook me up. Message me. I will do my best to take care of your concerns. And you get fun videos. Mine too, JD says. Those colors look great together, I personally think. Oh, I'm so glad. I just, like, I love it when people 
come in and they give me a color combination that I would never, ever, ever consider. You know, like this just is not a combination I would ever consider. And so I'm really enjoying this and putting it together. Oops, don't wanna mix that in. Just use my fingers to get that final dot. Okay, got that down. Renee Lane says, too pricey for me. I don't know exactly what you're referring to, but if you are a designer, that's what I do. I rep the products. You get 40% off all your personal orders and commission on any orders that you sell. So pretty awesome. Hi, Jennifer Joe. Good on to the next part and a hug around the neck. Hi, Cedris. So fun to see your name pop up here too. Jennifer Joe, where are you at? You were looking into signing up as a designer. Where's your thoughts on that now? Some people decide, eh, never mind. I don't want to rep the products. I'd rather just be a customer. And that's fabulous. Everyone has their desires. I personally love getting paid back for what I do. So like if I can fund a project that I'm doing already, like if someone paid me to go to Target, that would be awesome. All right. So love, I need to do, I need to do a heart with pink. And then our big and sign is going to be blue and fawn. Fawn for this. Big and sign is gonna be blue. Ooh, getting right down to the end of this jar. That kind of makes me happy because I can throw it away after this and then my gray is gonna be the yellow. Okay, we're using all four colors on this line. I'm gonna work with my most wet and easy to spread color first because it's gonna dry slower. Thicker paste will dry quicker. So Drew says, I freaking love your creativity. I want to be you when I grow up. You are hilarious because friend, I'm not even kidding. I was thinking about texting you this week. There are parts of me that say I need to be you when I grow up, but that is so sweet. Thank you for, thank you for saying that. Amanda, she says, I signed up, just get the discount. However, I've had so many interested since I started sharing my projects and I can't read the rest of your comment, but I'm sure everyone else can click see more. You have been on fire. It's crazy how just sharing what you've made can generate so much interest. And the next thing you know, you're like, okay, I guess I'm gonna make some money with this instead of just getting a discount. It has been so fun to watch your progression. All right. Well, good, Jennifer and Joe. Very good. So we'll chat. Let's chat. My blue paste is so thick. I need to spray a little more water in there. I feel like I can survive. I can manage without watering it down anymore. Whoop. Whoop. So just making sure that entire silk screen area is covered up. I noticed one small spot on my A that is not covered up. So get that taken care of. All right, peel back. 100% I feel like I'm. Cliffhanger sentence, Amanda. Finish your sentence. Nope, part of my A, or part of my and sign is kind of drying, getting that chalky look. So I'm gonna spread it through with my finger. Much better. Oh, it's coming together. I have to show you guys the rug that she sent me and see what you guys think about these color combos going together. All right, 
around is going to be pink, blue heart, and yellow. Blue heart, pink, yellow. basically getting your products for free. Amanda, that's awesome. Congratulations on your launch success with chalking. Kim says, it is so dry. No humidity there in Albuquerque. I'm having a hard time having enough time getting a project done. Oh my gosh, Kim, I can't even imagine. You'd have to like be in a super nice air conditioned house in order to like get your projects done. I'll bet the paste dries like one word at a time. <laughs> One word at a time for that. Or stick with ink projects during the summer where you like want it to dry faster. That's when you do your t-shirts and your tea towels and your pillowcases is in your summertime. Okay, I need a blue heart. We'll do that last because it's my thickest paste. We're gonna do pink for around. You guys have your struggles in Texas and Arizona. Uh, not fun. I'm sitting here dying and it's barely hitting 80 degrees in Washington. I'm like, so hot. But we don't have air conditioning. So that kind of is lame. We're almost done. Who wants to see the finished look? It's gonna be great. I can already tell. If you know somebody who would love this design, hook up with me. Send me a message. Tell me your colors you want. This is $39 plus shipping. $39 plus shipping to get it to you. So if you live um, local to me, then I can just deliver it. But $39 plus shipping. You pick your colors. You can do all one color. You could do multiple colors like this. You could tell me specifically where to put the colors or just let me kind of figure that out and figure out the balance. Um, we also have a couple of other fun retired designs that have been super popular that are affirmations. So check out my post on my Facebook wall to see more ideas of what I can make for you. Or if you want to make it yourself, just hit up the shop now button and you can find all of the supplies, the paste, the squeegees, the boards, everything you need to do this yourself. This is also really great for gifts, right? Spoil yourselves or get yourself a gift. So if you want to order it and have it sent to someone as a gift, I can do that too. I include a little note card with your name on it to say, you know, happy birthday from Amanda in Texas. She thought you would love this. Make sense? Last little bit of color. We're just gonna add a tiny blue harp and I can't get rid of this paste yet. I still have so much paste left. You guys, you might say, oh my gosh, it's $13 for a jar of three ounce paste. Uh, yeah, it is. But that's the most you're gonna spend is at the beginning getting it. Because once you get your squeegees, you don't need to buy any more squeegees. Once you get paste, you are set on paste for a long time because these cover so many projects. Dozens and dozens and dozens of projects. So. Um, there is a little bit of money to put up front because you got to get your board and the transfer that you want But the transfers are reusable the boards are reusable the squeegees are reusable everything's reusable So the more you use them the better value that you get I can make your hands clap Is there any mason jar ones Tamara asked. sorry I like lost count on the um, comments here for a little bit um, Yeah, there are some mason jar ones actually so Let's see, what is the most current one? Oh, we had a lemonade transfer. That one is retired though. Jeez, maybe we don't have any more current mason jar transfers. I'll have to look that up. I actually have one right over here. I'll turn my camera after I get this peeled off so you can see what I did with my mason jar transfer, but this is also a retired one. Um, I do hunt down retire transfers because some designers buy transfers and then never end up using them and then they're willing to resell them. So uh, I can look around for that. The new paste have an awesome consistency now. Good, Kim, that's awesome. I know they had a bad batch with some of the colors and that was kind of frustrating, but they will take care of us, right? 
All right, let's see the finished look. I'll just let that dry organically. I don't need to put a blow dryer to it. Show me those hearts on the screen, everyone. I want to see those hearts floating. It tells everyone on Facebook something amazing is going on here. The lighting in here is kind of funky. I feel like my camera is showing my marigold is like a really bright yellow, but it's more of an orangey yellow. There we go. Man, that's so, so cool. And you know what also is really neat about this? So the fact that it's washable, right? So I get to sh send a, a picture of this to my customer. And if she's like, oh my gosh, I love the colors, but I wish that the word peck was blue instead of pink. I can go in and just erase just that word, lay my transfer back over and do it in the color that she wants. I don't need to erase the entire design. So it's really easy and forgiving on chalkboard. Thank you. Thank you. I think it looks awesome too. It's just like such a funky array of colors. Okay, you guys, I need someone to order another one. Either this or other designs because I want to do this again and make it like the best, funkiest colors. Let me show you my two things that I promised I'd show you. So here's the other one. This is a retired design that's really popular. So a lot of people have been ordering this. Um, same, same price point. We can do it on the black chalkboard or you can do it on a white chalkboard with a, it's a different look, a different framing look, but, um, couple of different designs and then here's the mason jar one so this is a retired one but I can look up on our team pages and see if anyone has this this is a mason jar one from a while ago um, so I know mason jar looks come in and out I just would have to look in our new catalog or click that pinned comment and just look through our current transfer designs right now and you'll see what we currently have available Things come in and out all the time, all the time. All right, I think that's it. Now I get to go clean up. That's my least favorite part. All right, no other additional comments. So I will say good night. Thanks everyone for watching. Oh, Kelly, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> She says, I just ordered my first official jar of paste. <laughs> that is so funny. Way to go. See, now you're a real chalking queen because you committed yourself to a full jar of paste, which means you have hundreds of projects in your future. All right, see y'all later.